Hello guys, Typhorsons here, without wasting time, let's get into the video. First of all, I'm gonna start with the sniper rifles. Out of all these sniper rifles, I would choose DXR. Why is that? I will tell you later in the video. First of all, let's focus on the equipments I use. I choose the long barrel out of all these because it gives me bullet buff for projectile. So for long distance, it makes it more easier for sniping. Same goes with the high power bullets. It reduces the rate of fire, but it's more helpful for the long distance sniping. As well as the standard issue mag, the standard issue extended mag, they are useful in close quarter sniping, such as rush sniping. I use the 8x scope because it has clear vision and it's good for mid range to long range. Other scopes, I would recommend not using it and stick to one. So if you are used to the 6x, go for it. If you are used to the 10x, go for that. But don't just keep switching around between scopes. It will really mess up your aim. This is my sniping video. I will just show you how easy it is to snipe at long distance range. You don't even have to put your crosshair aim higher. You just have to put it a little higher, even at long distance range. Unlike the SWS or the NTW50, you really need to care about the bullet projectile or where the bullet leads to. So you need to be careful with your aim. But when it comes to DXR, if you are new to sniping class in Battlefield 2042, it is the best sniper you can get, it's the best sniper you can use, and it's the best sniper you can aim with and help your aim. Of course with the NTW50 it's one shot kill and for DXR you have to headshot but if you are at close quarter you can hip fire kill and one shot body shot kill your enemies just like that I have shown you in the video it's really easy. Moving on to the next class we have the SMGs and I choose PBX. Attachments I use the Fusion Holocide, Close Combat, Standard Issue, Extended Mag and then Standard Issue Mag. I use the BCG Light Grip because it's really accurate when I'm aiming down sight. And you can use the LWG Grip if you are moving left right too much while in gun encounters. Also, if you guys are gonna talk about the muzzle break, I would use the Champion Muzzle Break. It gives me vertical recoil. It's my weakness. That's why I use the vertical control recoil muzzle break. But if you are weak with the horizontal control recoil, you should go with the horizontal recoil controller muzzle break. So that's what I would suggest you to do. The good question arise here is why do we use PBX when we do have the K30 which is really beast at close range and we have the PB29 which is really quite decent at mid range. But the PBX gives you both. It's like a combination of PB29 with range and the combination of K30 with the uh, close combat and the rate of fire. So it's really one of the best guns out of all the SMGs class. But it's really bad at long range. It really sucks. That's gonna be a honest opinion for me. Well, in short summary, I would say PBX is really good gun from close range to mid range. But it is really bad at long range. So I would suggest avoid using it in long maps such as Breakaway. It's a situational gun and it's for situational maps only. Moving on to the next section we have the LMG. LCMG is a really beast LMG if used with the right attachments. I use the Fusion Holocide, gives me clear aim when I'm aiming down sight. I use the Close Combat because I get more fire rate which is really good for the LMG. The high power and the standard issue is the secondary choice. I use the shotgun barrel as well as it buffs my rate of fire for the gun which is quite useful and when sometimes my aim sucks and I feel like I can't shoot at all, I use the long barrel because it gives me control of my recoil. Coming down to the grip section, I use the BCG light grip which is quite useful and uh, for secondary choice I use the LWG grip. While I'm moving left right, I have my accuracy on my bullets as for my targets so it's really useful to use the LWG only if you are moving left right while in gun encounter as you can see in the clip this gun is situational again because when you see a lot of enemies you need a gun with a lot of bullets the PP29 won't work in this situation and the LCMG is the best for such situation and it's it's a Rambo style thing you need a lot of bullets and the high fire rate just it makes it unstoppable and it really melts down the enemies. It's quite useful when you encounter a lot of enemies, that's all I can say. Also the shot barrel and the close combat bullets buff the fire rate so hardly that 
the already weapon which has a lot of damage makes it even more deadly. In assault section, the best, my favorite assault rifle that I use the most is the SCAR. It's also called SPAR in the game. And the attachments I use for it is the fusion holo side. It doesn't have, unfortunately, any barrel. It has the grenade launcher thing, so I will skip that. And the high drum power mag, it's really useful. Like when you have a lot of enemies or in a flank. Standard issue is quite good when you are in face to face in gun encounter because it gives you more buff in fire rate. And the high power one, it's it's just like a third choice. When you have nothing, you use it. And the fusion holo side gives you, as usual, I say a lot, it gives you clear accuracy and clear visibility when you are in the downside. Other scopes, I just ignore them. As you can see, it has a lot of range. It takes like four bullets to kill someone at any distance, as I have experienced it. And I'm using this gun in this clip. As you all can see, it's just so smooth. You can just kill enemies with tap, or even they moving whatsoever. You don't have higher fire rate. It's gonna have low fire rate, but it still does the job so brilliantly. Like, you just feel like you are using aimboard or you are cheating. Try this gun and you will thank me later for that. And in the end, for the shotgun class, I basically don't use shotguns. I'm not a fan of it, but from all the pro players I know, they always suggest to go for the 12M, which is the auto loading shotgun. It has auto which means you don't have to wait, you just keep spamming with the bullets and I think it's the most OP shotgun in Battlefield 2042 it kills from long range as well as short range it does both functionality of the shotgun as well as sniper as DICE claims nerfed this gun after the update I still think it's one of the best DMR even better than the SVK because it's still useful at close combat as well as long I use the following attachments which is short barrel high power extended mag, close combat mag, you can use this gun as a DMR as well as SMG. If you switch the close combat bullet, you will have an SMG. If you switch the higher power extended mag, you will feel like you are using a DMR. Thank you everyone for watching the video. Please do leave a like, hit the bell icon, subscribe and leave down your opinion in the comments section. That's really useful for me. I'll see you all with the next one. Take care. Stay awesome, Diforestins out.